Hello people! Today we'll talk about one thing that every one of us does. Food. Well, every one of us does some other stuff, but we'll skip it today and we'll only concentrate on food. You have no idea of how often I hear phrases like, oh, we thought you were starving here in Moscow, or we brought some candies for the kids in case we won't be able to find some food. So today we've decided to show you that there is something to eat in Moscow. There are many amazing places. And today we'll show kind of markets and full malls with food malls with lots of different sort of food. I'll show you my favorite places where I usually bring my foreign friends to and where we go with my friends they're kind of slightly different but they are all about the same thing about food so as we said uh, today we'll mostly concentrate on this kind of food malls and food markets the format that's extremely popular all over the globe right now and we have this kind of places and spaces in Moscow as well the first place we'll show you today is called Depo. It's a new place opened recently near Belaruska station. The idea is that uh, it used to be a tram park initially, but now it's this space with, uh, with 11,000 square meters, 75 restaurants and cafes, including new startups and some famous restaurants. This space is, uh, is a place where everyone will find something to eat. It has some Russian, Georgian, Italian, Vietnamese, uh, Uzbek food, like literally everything you want to find apart from that there is some seafood there is some meat in here there is some vegetarian and raw food kasher and halal like literally everything sweets apart from cafes and restaurants and different food corners here there's also a big food market 140 lines with fresh vegetables fruits dried fruits cheese and meat there are some fresh fruits, vegetables, lots of vegetarian options and vegan, vegan desserts, desserts without sugar, some Georgian food. If you're in Russia and you're not traveling to Georgia, make sure you try the Georgian food. There are many meat eaters in Russia. So now let's come and explore some more spaces like that in Moscow. This is just a nice April weather in Moscow. Uh, so that was the first place that we showed you was called Depo. And now we'll go to the second place. Let's go! Woohoo! So a long time before this building behind me was constructed, there was a market here and most probably there was a market here since the 13th, 14th century. Woohoo! Moscow is old. But this particular building behind me was constructed in the 1980s. It was Soviet time, Soviet architecture. But this building looks really awesome. I find it amazing. It looks a bit like a circus for me. Uh, but the latest renovation added in 2017 made this market a super popular hipster place with lots of amazing food. And we'll go inside. That's Danilovsky Market. Let's go! So, uh, the market in the middle, but all of the amazing places to eat, they are around on the perimeter. So even just here where I stand, I can see some shawarma, I can see Dagestan food, Armenian food, amazing Vietnamese place, one of the best balls in Moscow, uh, Russian, Uzbek, Greek, Greek, Israeli food, like everything, literally everything, and we'll just run across for you to be able to see the space. It's pretty awesome, I think. For those of you who like caviar, cheers, guys! Woohoo! There is one thing we need to tell you about: is this thing over there? The closest thing to this tvorek is cottage cheese, but it's not cottage cheese; it's tvorek. And this is a huge deal in Russia. People love it. People eat it for breakfast with uh, some uh, sugar or with something sweet, I don't know, honey with nuts, or just eat it like that with 
sour cream. I love Tvorek. I really love it. And we make so many amazing things out of Tvorek, like in Russia, Sirniki, Zepikanka. They're really, it's like cheesecake, but it's not a cheesecake and it's not cottage cheese. It's Russian Tvorek. You should try it when you come to Russia. It's amazing. It's delicious. So we are now in the market. It's in the middle again, but over there you can see some Jerusalem hummus. The Cyprus cuisine, the Mexican food, Vietnamese fobo. So you can grab some food and sit here or there are some uh, sitting places upstairs over there. Oh, pickles! We love pickles in Russia. And beef bar, so they have lots of burgers and steaks. And some degustation is going on here. Indian spot. Oh, this is delicious as well. Korean noodle bar. Beijing dust. That's it for Danilovsky Market. Now let's go to see one more place. You know what they say in Russia, nature has no bad weather. Well, we don't care today because we'll go inside now. And the place we'll go inside right now, the third place that we'll show you today is called Around the World. Literally translates from Russian like that. It's called Vakruk Sveta. It's not as big as the previous two places that we've we'll shown you today, but it has a huge big bonus. It's situated like five minutes walk from Red Square. Two minutes walk from Lubanka Square and KGB building for those of you who are interested in it. So it's just in the middle of Moscow and I'm sure that you will come to this Nikolskaya street, also known as the street with the lights, wherever you come to Moscow. So let's now go inside and have a look at this around the world place. So this place, as we said, is not as huge as the previous two. It has 24 food corners and restaurants and cafes, but still it's like Russian, Uzbek, Vietnamese, Italian, Korean, Chinese, Japanese food, seafood, like pretty much all around the world. That's how this Vakruk Sveta translates like. So now let's run and have a look at what do we have here. The bar is in the middle. That's very important. They have lots of drop beer and some rum, whiskey, vodka. This is the Russian corner called from Russia with love and caviar. <laughs> so these are some dumplings. That's a traditional Russian thing. Um, that's called pilmeni with lots of different things inside meat and fish. That's very traditional Russian pies. And this is the Uzbek corner. This place over there is called Plov. It's a must try, it's delicious. So now we'll have some wine, maybe, maybe just tea, we'll see. We hope you enjoyed our little gastronomic foodie video for today. We're thinking of making something like specifically Russian food or something like that. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe, like, share, love will happen. Beams up, peace and cheers!